what is going on guys god bless you carlos here with serrano's mobile detail in dallas texas it's been a few couple of days i haven't made a single video but today we're going to be talking about a couple things on working with boats um some have asked me how do i do boats pricing and stuff like that uh so hopefully um you guys can take a little bit of some feedback from today's job today we're actually uh, doing a um, we're doing like a detail on this boat um, excluding the carpet um, but we're going to clean everything nice and thoroughly but we're also going to be talking about um, when it comes to my business what do I tend to offer to customers when it comes to their boat right so stick around let's get all set up and we'll get started on this fun project today so when it comes to boat detailing, it can get a little bit confusing for us detailers, right? Especially if we don't do boats very often, right? Um, and what do we tend to do a lot of the times is we'll go on these types of forums, ask for pricing and everything like that to help us kind of understand of what we're working with, right? On today's project, um, we're going to be doing a, uh, like I said, we're doing uh, like a detail on the boat, excluding the um, carpet we're going to vacuum pretty much everything thoroughly um, and this project here runs 450 for this boat for today which is a good interior wipe down everything is getting touched everything getting scrubbed um, conditioned as well um, but we're not extracting uh, the boat uh, or the carpet right we're going to vacuum it nice and thoroughly and the exterior is going to get a nice wash um, as well as we're going to be applying a topper to it because it is actually ceramic coated uh, so we're going to apply a topper on there because i think it needs it um, and that's pretty much it right so just a nice thorough interior detail we're scrubbing everything on this one we're going to be <coughs> lifting up the seats uh, cleaning all the compartments really well for them um, and then we're just gonna wash it really really well i literally forgot to get some items quick tip when you're working on a boat try to make sure you put everything on the boat that you're gonna need that way you don't keep coming down uh, because now you're wasting more time right So when doing boats, guys, um, try to figure out your process, right? For me, what has helped is um, <clears throat> it's pretty much doing all the interior compartments first. Uh, so I'll pull these seats out, remove all the grime, anything that's built up under the seats. Um, and then I'll go to the top. Um, like I said, these seats definitely need some love and attention. And I'm using just a soft bristle brush we're using the suds lab um, brush and this kind of just helps me get into these areas where maybe i can reach just a little bit better um, but and then we're following it up with the ninja scrub and then this one is i'm just using it just to agitate remove all the top surface of the grime For when it comes to like marine boats, right? They do sell products out there that are meant for them, right? UV protection and all that. Um, obviously, once I finish this, I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna apply a protection. Usually, I, I love using uh, Drive Auto uh, Lux Cockpit Conditioner, um, just because it just it just adds that extra, just a nice finish to them. And I'm using the towel to wipe it off and it's pretty much back to clean but again 
this project you know it's mostly just a nice thorough uh, wipe down or scrubbing remove any type of like water buildup that it's had in the past so that's what we're really concentrating on here is making sure that we uh get this thing looking really good um and then obviously we're gonna wash it but if the customer only wants like sometimes you'll get customers they'll, they'll literally tell you like oh i just want it wiped down right for something like that just a wipe down my cost is usually about two hundred dollars um so 200 for just a good wipe down and exterior wash i kind of treat it like cars um just because i'm gonna be very honest i don't do boats very often so i kind of treat it like a vehicle um based on the condition is how i'm gonna charge you um but i know some people tend to charge you by foot um obviously when it comes to corrections and stuff they we do charge kind of by the foot for interiors you name your price so just for a basic wipe down right which is the basic is not pulling up the seat is literally you're just wiping down the top surface of everything you know blowing out everything really well the dust and just making it look presentable and the exterior gets a wash vacuum the interior and that's it right um so that one runs 200 dollars um, but when they're like i need you to lift up the seats get in my compartments that's a little bit more detailed oriented um and usually this carpet we wash it about once a year or yeah about once a year because it's gonna get wet um so usually the carpet i detail it usually at the very end of boating season that way that it's nice and clean it's been you know stepped on and everything so we'll give it a nice um extraction at the very end of the boating season but for today always try to start from the bottom which means lifting up these seats getting the compartments if you're doing a detail to the boat um and then bring them put them down and then we we start wiping all the top surface of everything really well brushing like the cup holders blowing it out um treat it just like a vehicle right it's just a boat um so i've already gone ahead and lifted up all the compartments i vacuumed them out um, now i'm wiping everything on the top and then we're going to condition it uh, and then we're going to vacuum it we're going to wash it one of the ways um, that you can get more of these types of customers if you're wanting to do more boat dry because there's detailers that love to do cars and there's detailers who love doing rvs right if you're one of those and maybe you're just starting in this business a good way uh, to gain some traction to this is go to your local um go to your local um like rv and boat storages and ask the office if you're able to leave you know some of your business cards or if you want to make some flyers you can definitely do that um right um and a good way to um advertise this and maybe get more phone calls is on that flyer i would put receive like 50 dollars off your first um for your first booking right trust me you'll get your phone to blow up just for that 50 dollars off um but again price accordingly right take today's kind of feedback and you know make your own um you know kind of assumptions right uh, for me how i got to this pricing or how i got to this method was um i did two free boats um at one point uh and that kind of gave me a good idea of what it was going to take right um so i did two free boats the first free boat was a just a basic wipe down like the 200 dollars package that i told you guys um and pretty much what i did with that is i did it for free but it also pretty much gave me all the information i needed um to know exactly how long it would take me um kind of like my steps my process um and that's kind of how i came up with the pricing right of the 200 dollars um because again it's kind of like if you're doing like a one of your maintenance is just a good vacuum wipe down and you know um and that's pretty much it and that's how like 200 dollars for me is very fair and i could finish that one in probably um about in an hour 
hour and a half uh, because really all you're doing is just blowing the interior really quick wiping down the interior um, conditioning it if you want and then vacuum the in obviously and then wash it for me that was like a no-brainer 200 to 250 was really my price point and i feel very happy where it's like <laughs> i don't know why customers <sighs> when they spend a lot of money on these boats right they want to cheap out um and they're like wow that's a lot like i could take it down to my local marina and somebody does it there for cheaper and i'm like oh that's awesome well i take it to them right um but it always happens they love the fact that you come to them you do it at their home or wherever it's at they don't have to move it or they don't have to pick it up the water and stuff like that right um so you know you're gonna get all sorts of customers when it comes to this you're gonna have those customers that love quality they'll pay for it and then you're gonna get those customers that totally hate that you're so pricey right but for me 200 dollars for a very basic quick interior i'm okay with that right again like for this one this package here runs 450 we're literally scrubbing these seeds removing a little bit of like it had some staining so we're just trying to make it look better presentable we're gonna wash it you know but that's what i would do if maybe you're starting in this area and you kind of want to get your hands kind of dirty and, and know exactly what you're what you're getting into before you start really advertising this take some free jobs right maybe you have a friend that has a boat <coughs> tell them hey man let me do um, a free service for you i'm just trying to kind of see where i'm at you know um, how long it would take me and then once you finish kind of calculate exactly how long it took you what you use and what you think you're worth on that right um and 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 never back down from your pricing because at the end of the day every car you touch it's quality right whether it's a basic or they're getting a detail it's quality um and you know never never sacrifice um your quality to So when I tend to do boats, uh, the top half, as you saw, I don't um, foam the top. Uh, for the reason is, for the top side, I use uh, the Drive Auto uh, appearance. This is their ceramic hybrid wash and detailer concentrate. This is really good for these types of scenarios. Obviously, the top side, I have this um, bucket and then I did two ounces of product to the two gallons um and that's what i have on the top section is a rinseless method um so i did that side on the top is usually what i'll do but obviously since i'm already here then i will go ahead and agitate this bottom portion as well uh, but for the top i tend to use a lot of the rinseless like a rinseless solution um, because i've already cleaned all the the boat and if you were to foam it or at least rinse this top section then you're going to introduce a lot of water so that's the reason i do rinseless method on the top and i'll foam everything else so that the soap can really get a lot of this grime down um and it's a method that has worked for me for so long especially working um, on boats. If you're working on RVs, this could be an exact same method. If you don't feel like foaming the whole RV, a rinseless solution tends to do the job really, really well. Um, this boat is protected really nicely with a ceramic. So it definitely makes cleaning just that much easier where all i have to do is just wipe um and it's coming off nicely another benefit of rinseless is one no water spotting so that rinseless helps you with helping the water spots on the boat i can now enjoy a nice tan
<laughs> I'm just kidding guys. All right guys, this project is finally, finally done. Um, overall, uh, this boat came out really, really well. Again, uh, the total cost on this boat today um, was uh, 450. All the pretty much interior compartments were scrubbed, were conditioned, were blown out. Uh, we took all the seats up, make sure we scrubbed all the compartments really well, wiped them down, removed all that buildup that it had. You're gonna see a couple clips of really how this thing turned out. It turned out really, really, really well. Uh, again, this boat is ceramic coated, so it made the job even easier. I actually ceramic coated the uh, interior about, I think a year and a half ago. So it just makes everything easier, right? Um, specifically, like for these types of seats, um, it helps keep all the buildup off but it helps you clean it much, much better, right? So at the end, once I finished it, after I, I uh, um, cleaned them up, uh, then I went ahead and I put like, um, I, I like you like using uh, DIY uh, ceramic gloss. I put it on a towel and then I just pretty much wiped the, the vinyl um, really well, just to keep protecting it. And that's kind of, it's been doing amazing throughout the, throughout the time that I've coated the interior. Um, obviously the exterior was coated as well, um, and also I topped it with DIY ceramic gloss just to help it. And it's just so much easier to clean when customers like these spend a lot of money on their boats, but they're also protecting them. That right there just makes, simplifies your job a whole lot. So overall, uh, this boat turned out really, really well. Um, but now it's time I got to start on this, uh, on his <coughs> F250, um, which is another maintenance, but, um, this one here was really a fun project uh, towards the end once boating season ends then I come back and then I do like a full-blown detail where we're pulling all the carpet out we're scrubbing everything really well before we close it up and he puts this whole thing on it to make sure that it doesn't get dirty but other than that guys hey thank you so much for watching uh, today's video guys I hope you guys enjoyed a little bit of kind of what I did today um, I know it was a short video but uh, thank you so much um, for being patient um, again I apologize I haven't made any videos in the past couple of days it's just been one of those where it's like I needed to just kind of zone out of YouTube for a little bit focus on my family um, you know and, and, and kind of just relax uh, but hey we're back uh, thank you so much for watching today's video as always God bless you guys and I'll catch you guys on the next one